fat, but not heavy. I believe we have another warrant to serve. You're joking. You were in it together. You killed her. The fat man planned it, but you did it. It was brilliant. You killed her, and then you left clues behind to make it look like Beiderbeck did it. Why? Because he's the only person on Earth who couldn't possibly have done it. You wore enormous boots to leave big footprints. Breaking in was no problem. The housekeeper told you about the hide -a key I admit I was confused until I figured out the sequence of events. First, you killed the judge. <coughs> then, you ransacked the house. Of course, you needed a witness. You put on one of your fat suits, set off the alarm, and then waited until you were sure somebody was watching. And finally, you called 911. And you're great with voices, Doc. We've all heard you. Spiderbeck even supplied you with videotapes of the judge so you could practice. This is insane. Why would I risk everything? Well, you really didn't have a choice, did you, Glenn? I knew Christiane wasn't your real name as soon as you said you were 37 years old. You told Sharona that you were named after Christiane Barnard, but he wasn't famous until 1967, after you were born. I put the FBI on it. They were looking for you. Your real name is Glenn Q. Sindel. You killed a child five years ago. Accident. You were operating on her so doped up you couldn't see straight. Accident. Convicted of manslaughter and reckless endangerment. You were looking at 15 years minimum. You jumped bail before sentencing, and then you disappeared. Oh, oh. Until now. And somehow, somehow, Spiderbeck learned your secret, and from that moment on, he owned you, didn't he? Listen, I, I just have to say, fantastic work, really. Both of you, kudos. And, and for the record, I am shocked, shocked that my personal physician is both a fugitive and a cold-blooded killer, shocked. But you can't really tie me to the crime, can you? Well, now, that really depends on Mr. Sindel. What do you say, Glenn? Would you like to talk to us? Captain. Captain, it's not me, is it? Am I him? Just tell me, if, am I am I that guy? Am I am I that far gone? Relax, Monk. You are completely different. You put the chocolate donuts in the middle, which makes perfect sense because that way the different groups are together. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. And he put the chocolate donuts on either end, which just isn't as good because that way they're, <laughs> they're, they're separated. Hello. There's no comparison. I told you he will he will drive you crazy. So is he the guy? Oh, no, I wish he was, but he's not the guy. He never would have misspelled Natalie's name on the note. How do you know? Because, because I wouldn't. Well, let's do the polygraph test anyway, to be sure. Right. What's he doing now? What's this? Oh, my God. Not vertically, not vertically. I'll be right back. You hungry? Yeah. Let's get something to eat. What about them? They'll be fine. Yep. The man said, I was set up. I'm just a pawn in this game. Let me break it down for y'all. Nah, for real. Here's what happened. Have you ever been accused? Man, you got set up. And it really wasn't you? Man, you got set up. Try to plant something on me. Man, you got set up. And then you say I killed the homie? This fool was greedy. Had to have the whole thing. Let me run it down to you. It's a cold game. He wanted more than half for the pie. That's why his partner had to die. die, 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 die. You heard me? You were the target all along. Am I right or am I wrong? You're making a lot of excellent points. He, he is. Every week they had a breakfast date. Captain Crunch French toast or a stack of pancakes. But this week, 
They wasn't serving nothing but murder on the plate. He wanted to pin it on me like a purple heart. But his perfect plan just fell apart. Cause like Aaron Burr, who was tried for treason, you made a mistake, dog. Forgot about the season. That was a fatal flaw to the perfect crime. See, Sunday was daylight savings time. Twice a year, we reset the clock. I had one hour, but I guess you forgot. Your partner showed up to break some bread. What he found was an empty table of state. You didn't order room service. Cause you thought the homie Waddy was dead. Extra large, ran out of luck When the limo came by and picked him up The pocket watch up under the car The trigger went boom and that went extra large Have you ever been accused? Man, you got set up. And it really wasn't you? Man, you got set up. Try to that play something on me Man, you got set up. And then you say I killed the homie? I went to the source and found a great detective. I told Adrian Monk to follow my direction. He solved the case and rocked it well. Next stop for you, Denny Hodges, is a death row jail cell. Wait! Get out! Bring your blood belt! Oh, yeah. How's that working out for you? Why would they be in there? You tell me. Surface. We're surfacing. Surfacing. Stand by for emergency ascent. Again, be the last word you ever say. Oh, God, okay. Stottlemyre homicide, you guys just relax. Uh, Everyone, everybody take a deep breath. Relax, hold your fire. Okay, that's close enough. Monk, Monk, put the gun down, buddy. You don't want to do this. Uh, you don't have to do this. Hey, who told you to stop? Keep going. Keep going. Monk, Monk, listen to me. They've identified the poison. It was on your wife's monk. It was on your hand wife. They have the antidote. We have to get you to a hospital. We can figure out what to do with him later. <laughs> Who was that? That is Wendy Stroud. The midwife from 12 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> Bones. The human skull. Uh, couldn't figure out why he wouldn't move. It's CSI down here now. And then I remembered a sundial <laughs> under the tree. Why would anyone put a sundial under a big tree like this in the shade? It didn't make any sense. <laughs> Twelve years ago, when he was nominated for the federal bench. His name was in all the favors. <coughs> Wendy Stroud must have seen it, right? Right! She said she found Jesus, that she was born again. She uh, couldn't live with the guilt. She was going to tell everyone about me and Trudy and the child. So you killed her. And then Trudy. And for what? For nothing! Monk. Monk, Monk. For a job! Monk, for don't! A job. Don't! For... 
Hey, hey, Rick, I'm gonna put the gun down! No, no! You take care of her! 